I'm Sydney. I'll be presenting on um, the research I conducted um, this summer, 2017. It was biochemical research. It focused on the, the growth inhibition of one fungus when growing in the presence of an antagonistic fungus. So I'm going to start with some brief background. So Neolentis lepidius is a wood decaying fungus. Um, this property can be detrimental to the environment. Um, the competitive fungus Trichoderma viridae inhibits a, the growth of wood decaying fungi due to its production of volatile organic compounds, VOCs, such as 2-methyl, 1-butanol, heptanol, and octanol. This interaction um, serves as a could serve as an eco-friendly alternative to chemical treatment of wood decaying fungus and fungal wood infections. Um, so our research targeted trichoderma viridae's effect on the protein synthesis of Neolentis lepidius and how this can contribute to the understanding of trichoderma viridae's uh, biocontrolling nature. Um, literature confirms growth inhibition of Neolentis lepidius when grown in the presence of trichoderma viridae. So further research um, aimed for the analysis of total protein from uh, Neolentis. So our hypothesis um, was Neolentis lepidius' growth will be inhibited when growing in the presence of trichoderma viridae. Um, the only interest that we had was finishing um, Andrew Koshin's research that he had been conducting throughout his time here at St. Edwards, as well as to get more specific as to what proteins are being inhibited when they are grown in the um, presence of trichoderma viridae. Um, so now I'm going to go into our methods. So we created um, malt extract auger plates in petri dishes and we would subculture um, our neolentis by taking a plug from the original fungus grown by Koshin and place it in the center of the new malt extract auger plates. And we grew it at room temperature in a laminar flow hood to um, decrease any type of uh, bacterial exchange, um, yeah, that kind of stuff, and any contamination. And so um, we grew the neolentis until the radius reached about a fourth of the total surface area of the plate, and it usually was like five to seven days, five to ten days typically. Um, once the neolentis reached um, the fourth total of the surface area of the plate, uh, an original plant plate or slant of trichoderma viridae was inoculated in the same manner. So we took a plug from the original trichoderma viridae grown by Koshin, and then we plated it in the NEA plate. And these plates were stacked together rim to rim without a lid, um, aseptically wrapped in parafilm, and wrapping plates uh, were put inside a laminar flow hood to reduce any exposure to contaminations. Um, another set of Neolentis lepidias was inoculated, but would be placed rim to rim with a blank NEA plate as the unchallenged or the uh, unchallenged set, the controlled. And the plates were um, placed to grow in a laminar flow hood at room temperature. And then the plates were measured by taking the diameter of fungal growth and subtracting that from the measurement of the plug. So we would then extract, um, quantify, and um, begin our SDS page for the Neolentis lepidius. So after five to seven days of challenge, uh, Neolentis grown in the presence of trichoderma, there's evidence of growth inhibition and protein was then extracted from Neolentis. The protein was um, extracted using um, Humphrey's uh, method, and this is part of our literature that we read, but we used some modifications. Um, so we used a scalpel, which reduced the amount of auger extracted with protein. So we would scrape the surface of the plate to get just the neolentis that was exposed to trichoderma viridae. And then the cells were placed in a negative 120 degrees Celsius freezer for cell membrane disruption. Um, silicon dioxide, uh, we use it as an acid wash sea sand. Um, was placed directly into a microcentrifuge tube with neolentis, and then using the Thermo Fisher uh, Bradford assay kit, concentrations of protein samples were determined. Um, six nanograms of protein of neolentis was then analyzed with an SDS page, and we used 7% resolving and 4% stacking gels, and the gels were then stained with Thermo's uh, gel coat glue safe protein. So ultimately, our results showed evidence of growth inhibition of Neolentis lepidius when grown in the presence of trichoderma viridae. Um, as the days progressed, the percentage of inhibition increased, except for when um, the growth uh, reached the surface, uh, total surface area of the petri dish, then you could see the uh, level of inhibition kind of stagnate. Um, so our conclusion was very similar to the report that we read that neolentis would be inhibited by trichoderma. Um, this is important because 
with this information, we are able to contribute to further research into making um, safer um, fungi um, inhibitors and like pesticides instead of using like chemicals we can use natural resources like trichotillomycin because it acts as a biocontrol in this environment so yeah here's a quick tidbit of my research uh presentation if i would have spent time doing this it would have been easily 15 minutes so i just wanted to put up my presentation that we did at the end of our summer research i hope you guys enjoyed So